Hey guys, I actually wasn't planning on doing a back to school video, but then a very lovely design student called Donatella commented on one of my Instagram photos asking me to do one because she pointed out that nobody on YouTube really makes back to school videos about design, which is an excellent point, so I thought I'd give it a go. So I hope that if you're going off to study design or art or photography or any of those creative subjects really, that this video will help you out and give you some advice. I've broken it into a few different categories and the first one is what to expect. In my experience, studying design is quite different from studying other subjects because it's less sitting and listening to lectures and more about making things and doing things, which is what I really loved about it. There will most likely be a few theory classes though, and they are really important as well because I think it's so valuable as a designer to know about the history of art and design and where the industry started basically. But you can probably expect that most of your time will be spent making things, which is pretty cool really. In your first few weeks, you might notice that some of your fellow students seem like absolute pros already. That definitely happened to me, but honestly, don't let that get you down. Remember that you got into the same course that they did, so you've got just as much right to be there, and they've probably got just as much to learn as you do. For equipment, it's likely that your school will give you a list of things you need, if there is anything in particular. I know my university did, and I have got a ton of art supplies left over that they said I needed, but I never actually used. Every design school is different though and has different ways of teaching and learning and you'll need different things for different assignments. So with equipment I definitely recommend just taking it as it comes and buying what you need as it appears that you need it. I do definitely recommend stocking up on your favourite sketchbooks and pens and pencils, whatever you need to get your ideas out so that when the creativity strikes that you're not limited by not having the tools you need to get your ideas down. Working on design assignments can be a little bit of a steep learning curve, I guess, if you've never done that sort of thing before. Because like I said, it's not about sitting in lectures and taking notes and writing essays, and it's more about actually doing things. Definitely just make sure that you pay attention to the brief, because that will list all the criteria that you need your final product to meet, if that makes sense. So make sure that when you're sketching out your wild ideas, you always come back to that brief and just check that you're still going down the right path, because when you're getting all creative and the ideas are flowing, it can be easy to go a little off track. Definitely don't be scared to ask questions as well. I know that design briefs can be a little bit hard to understand at first. I know I definitely struggled with that, so don't be afraid to ask if there is something that needs clarifying. Talking to your peers can help a lot too. I was pretty shy in my first year of university and I didn't really like showing my work or talking about it very much, but if you're like that too, then you really just have to try and get over it because it honestly does help. Sometimes when you're working on an assignment really hard, you can get just too close to your design and sharing it with someone else and getting them to give some feedback, they might see a few things that maybe you've missed because you've been looking at it too closely, if that makes sense. So make sure you do that and then return the favour and look at their work as well. Critiquing other people's work can be hard at first, but once you get more comfortable with your classmates and with design itself, you'll find it a lot easier to give feedback. I think there's a lot more advice I could give about critiquing, but maybe that should be a separate video later on. When you're just starting out, you might find that you unintentionally copy other designs you've seen, or maybe copy what your classmates are doing, and that's okay because it's all about learning and trying things out and seeing how they work. But it is really important to take the things that you learned from copying and put your own twist on them to try and make something your own, because you don't want to just be putting out designs like everybody else. For this category, I'm actually going to assign you some reading. You need to get your hands on this book. It's only like $7 on Amazon and there's a link down below so there's no excuse not to. It's all about creativity and discovering your own style. It's called Steal Like an Artist because the basic premise is that artists who are heavily influenced by things don't just copy them exactly but rather they remix them and reimagine them to make something new. I think this little book is something that every design student should read so definitely check it out. This brings me to the end of my advice for now, but if you've got any other questions then please feel free to leave them down below in the comments and we can have a little chat about it. To anyone who is starting out in design school this year, I wish you the best of luck and remember that I'll always be here to give you advice whenever you need it. In fact, I'll leave a link down below to a playlist of some other videos that I think could be really helpful if you're just starting out. Sorry this video was kind of longer than I normally do, but hopefully it was helpful. Please make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and if you did find some use in it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.